Oh, my mum is so cute. It's Vlogmas day number six. I'm starting the day off a little bit later today because I was up late last night, so I slept in a little bit. Oh, I almost forgot a towel. Um, but I thought I would go for a swim. My sister's already in there and it's a nice day and I figure a, a little swim, <laughs> splash in the pool would be a good way to start the day. Get like the, the brain firing again, wake up. Um, let's see if I can find a towel. You will do. I'm still not quite ready to do anything productive today yet. So I just am laying out here in the sunshine, but I want to talk to you guys about something that I was thinking about last night. Again, late night editing, it's always when I have my most philosophical of thoughts, but I just wanted to remind you guys, particularly because I'm doing Vlogmas and because I see it so much myself that at Christmas time with social media, with particularly like Facebook and Instagram, and, and Vlogmas as well, it can seem like everyone around you is having this perfect, amazing, magical Christmas and it can sometimes make you feel like you're not having this perfect, magical Christmas or that you're somehow missing something or lacking something. I know because I felt the exact same way as well and I remember it was like maybe last year or the year before, Carly Christman did a, quite a good video just talking about this in general but... I think it's important to remember that an Instagram photo or a Facebook post or even a Vlogmas video is just such a short snippet of time and of course everybody's going to be projecting the best that they can. It's not that it's fake, it's that it's just not showing the entire 100% picture of what is going on and even when things like look like they're great, sometimes they're things that aren't that fantastic as well and you shouldn't feel like everyone around you is doing something that maybe you're not even if you're by yourself you should just be dancing by yourself and having fun christmas is i really think it's it's a lot about what you make of it it's not perfect I even even for me like yesterday things went wrong and um i would have like in a perfect picture i would have had my whole family there last night we would have decorated the perfect christmas tree and listened to carols and watched a christmas movie and drank hot chocolate or something like that but it's, it's not real life like i'm lucky enough if i can get all my family in one room at the same time because we all have such different schedules and there's other stuff going on i mean at, just because it's christmas time life doesn't stop and i feel like bad stuff still happens there may be things going on like in my family my aunt is we've just found out that she's sick and that definitely puts a damper on things, but I'm not going to necessarily vlog about that because the whole point of my vlogmas is that I'm trying to spread happiness, I guess, and, and share the fun part of Christmas. But just remember that it's only a small part and that not everything's going to be perfect. And sometimes there's beauty in the imperfections and you've just got to, I guess, make the best of the situation that you have. And even if your Christmas isn't picture perfect, um, or your holiday, whatever it is, and even if you don't celebrate Christmas, just your end of year celebrations or whatever it is that you're doing in your life, just try and keep it in perspective and try and have a positive outlook. And I think that will make everything seem better. I don't know, maybe I'm just getting too deep this time of the morning, but I was thinking about it and it was something that I felt that was important to say because it's so easy to forget that when you're looking at these images of what you may perceive as perfection or even not necessarily perfection but just something that's really really great that it's not always that way and that you shouldn't feel like you have to be a certain way or have a certain thing or something like that I don't know I just thought I wanted to share sun is really really lovely right now and it's kind of like wanting to lull me back to sleep I should go and do something but I think I'll just lay here a little bit longer <laughs> I just noticed these flowers that I'd never noticed before in the garden how cool are they they look like does anybody remember the little trolley dolls and they had like the crazy hair in the multi different colors that kind of stuck up like that that's what these remind me of I may be showing my age with that trolley comment um, but that's just what these made me think of. They're really interesting. I have no idea what they're called. If you are into flowers and stuff, let me know if you know what they are. I'm sure my dad knows because he would have planted them, but he's not here to ask. And I just think they look pretty. I swear sometimes my cat thinks she's a human. She just gets up on her little chair and has a little snooze. So 
after my swim I came inside because I thought I should probably try and do something productive and that lasted all of two seconds when I laid down and decided that I was going to read my book then I bring my little snooze fest downstairs because you know Christmas tree I just you guys are going to be so sick of looking at the Christmas tree by the end of this vlog. I just, it was nice to be able to sit in here. And actually, you know those sensicles that I was talking about? They work really, really well. I came downstairs and I could just smell Christmas tree. It's just so nice just sitting there and like basking in the lights. I don't know. I was enjoying it. But anyway, I thought now because I'm hungry and because clearly there's not enough sweets and junk food and chocolate in this vlogmas I would make some cookies so Betty Crocker chocolate chunk my favorite would highly recommend them let's go Now it's time to get our hands dirty. Some people might find this gross, but I think it's the most fun part of making cookies, other than eating them, of course. <laughs> I was just reading the back of the cookie box where it says do not eat batter as it contains raw eggs and it made me think of that meme. You know the one that says something like just let me live my life and eat the raw cookie dough or whatever and I kind of agree with that because cookie dough is amazing and I kind of think sometimes you just got to take the risk and eat the raw cookie dough. I'm practically a master chef. Well, me and Betty Crocker. <laughs> so good. Ow, ow, ow. It's so hot. The seat is burning my butt. <laughs> for a couple of things. One is the toothpaste because even though you guys have kept on reminding me I still haven't got it. And the other is to also try and find a gift or I was thinking a gift card for a work Kris Kringle. We have a $20 limit and I just I don't know her likes and dislikes well enough to pick a gift. So is a gift card a cop out? I don't know. I feel like it's practical. Maybe I could get a book. Girl on a Train, I've heard so many people talk about. See, this was my original idea. Cold my gift card. Because you can shop at all those shops. So she could get herself a bottle of wine or add it to something else. I thought that was a pretty good idea. So in one of those epic vlogging fails, my camera battery died in the middle of vlogging in Coles and I left my phone in the car. I actually thought I'd left it at home, but it turns out I just left it in the car. In the end, I decided to get the book and the gift card. I ended up, the book didn't have a price on it, so I wasn't 100% sure what it um, would come to. It was $25, so I can't give the book and the gift card because that would really be blowing the limit. So I'm going to think about it, but I think I might end up giving the gift card and then keeping the book and putting it in my mum's stocking because I know that she will like that kind of thing and I'm just I'm not a hundred percent sure if the person who I have as for Kris Kringle or Secret Santa um, likes to read and I don't know it's just it's really really difficult and I do feel bad sometimes giving gift cards but at the same time I feel that they're really practical and I personally would wouldn't mind receiving one so I'd love to hear your thoughts on the whole like gift card, particularly in the instance of a work colleague. Is a gift card an acceptable present for a Kris Kringle or a gift? Let me know what you think. I'm a touch disheveled because I have just not long gotten out of the pool after my second swim of the day. After getting back from the shops, it was just so hot and I just thought, you know what, 
need to go back in the pool and I am very grateful for having a pool in the backyard because I just find it so relaxing just to float on my back and lay there. I honestly I could have just stayed there forever but I thought I'd better come up here and have a shower and then of course in true Rachel fashion I got sidetracked and I've started to um, edit today's vlog. A little bit of vlogception there because you all have seen this just before I started doing this, if that makes sense. The aim of the game is to actually try and um, go to bed at a regular hour tonight so that's why I sort of started importing the footage and then once I'd imported it I started to edit it. It's just one of those things I often <laughs> start doing one task and then go to the next and then go to the next. It's it's how I am. Today is going to be quite a, it's just, it's been a lazy Sunday. There's really not going on in this vlog. That's just my life. But I am going to go have that shower now and kind of just chill out, I think. I don't think we'll be, I'll be vlogging much more. Maybe I should do the Vlogmas calendar now, just in case. Let's let's do it. Oh, where are you? Okay. Um, what have we got today? We have day number six. It's actually my cousin's birthday today. I've got to remember to message him on Facebook. Um, <laughs> this is the, the beauty of technology. Six, six, why can't I see? Oh, there we are. We're hiding down the bottom here. These are your options. I want to go with Magical Elf because I feel like we should have a Magical Elf. And to be honest, I just want a Magical Elf. But you guys guess what you want and I will just try and open it. <gasps> guys, I know that that sound was probably really annoy annoying, but I'm really excited that I got them right for once. Notice how my voice goes to like high pitched decibels when I get excited. Um, if you guessed Magical Elf like me, you are correct. I am still only two for six, so I'm two, two versus four. But I could come back. There is still, there is still time. I'm gonna go have a shower, eat my Magical Elf, and I might see you guys later. I actually do, I know I'll come back because I want to show you guys the outdoor Christmas tree. Um, and the dark and it's not dark yet so I will see you guys when it gets dark it's dark now and I've just quickly come outside to check out the Christmas tree but I'm in my pajamas so I'm hoping that nobody else is out here because it's not a good look <laughs> oh look there it is so it had multicolored lights on it that were pre-lit and then I added some um, like the flashing ones to it just to up the ante and I like it we definitely need to add some more lights to the house, but it's a good start. It looks really pretty. I think the Christmas tree is a great way to wrap up this Vlogmas video, so I'll see you guys all for Vlogmas Day 7 tomorrow. Bye!